welcome to From the Pastor's Kitchen. Today I am going to do some chicken strips. I want to show you from the very beginning. Sometimes I prepare before. I do a little prepping so it won't take so much time. But I think it's essential for people to see how to clean this chicken. So I've got some chicken breast down here. Come on, Rosie, and capture this. Some chicken breast down in here. And I'm going to fry some, make some chicken strips out of these. Okay, out of these chicken breasts. Six chicken breasts. I normally do about three, but everybody's at home, so I'm going to do all of those. Let's clean this chicken. Make sure you clean your chicken. I always use baking soda. There is like a slime or a bit of slime or a film on top of the chicken. You know, and so it's just to get the chicken and then to get that off of your chicken. This is the way I do it. Some people grind theirs and put salt on it. Some people use vinegar. This has been the easiest method for me to do. I can feel it when it's clean. It don't take long for it to do to get through there at all. My chicken, I'm just running cold water on your chicken. Not hot water. Hot water is the process of cooking it almost. You don't have to do that. I'm gonna take it. Put the baking powder on there. Baking soda, I'm sorry. The baking soda on there, and I'm going to rinse it off a couple of times. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to rinse this off a couple of times. It feels better already. And my water changes too. You know, you, you've got fresh chicken, and you feel better about the chicken that you're eating. You want to clean up afterwards always in the space with this chicken in the space that you're in. Clean your sink out, clean the pan out that it's in. All of that good stuff. All right, that's pretty much it for this chicken. I've just cleaned it. All right, and so what I'm going to take this chicken now and I'm going to cut it into strips. I wash my hands because I'm going to touch this end of this knife, but it really isn't going to matter because I am going to be using this throughout the process. I'm switch up on knives. I'm trying to see which one of mine is the sharpest that I'm using. But this one I don't use often at all. I'm going to make strips out of this, so I'm going to cut it down the side. Of it. That's it right there. Chicken strip. There. Here we go. Right here. That's my chicken. The strips. See that, Robert? I was going to do nuggets, but I'd rather do strips. We can get the most out of these in the strips like this. They don't have to be huge at all. And I'm going to cut this down here even in size a little bit here. Make the strips a little thinner. Get the most out of them as well. Oh man, yeah, I'm going to cut this one because it's pretty thick. It's at, at that. I don't want them super thick at all. This one is pretty thick too. You don't have to have that. Just family. And I can get the most out of them too. Just cutting them along the sides. That's all that I'm doing to them. So you get an opportunity to see it. I'm just cutting them. I'm making them a little bit thinner this time so that I don't have to go back over my work there and do it again. And it's okay to leave some of the fat on. If it was an enormous amount of fat on here, I would take it off. Don't have to. All right? Okay, we're going to cut these all up. And then we're going to go ahead and season them, and I'll show you how to do that next. Okay, it's time to drop these uh, chicken strips. See, I've cut them into strips, fresh chicken strips down. I've already had some breading in the bag that I had cooked in earlier, so I'm not going to waste it. I don't like to do that. I'm just going to add to it just a little bit. And what I'm going to do a little different with it than what I've done in times past. This is just the um, <clears throat> chicken breading that I use. i show you what I use. House of Arches. I love this stuff. Just going to add a little bit of that, a little bit more of that in there. Some seasoning is in there. The key to these chicken strips would be some cornstarch. Make them a little bit more, more crispier. So I'm going to use a half a cup of cornstarch in what I already have. Come in and add just a little bit more seasoning to this. That is it. That's all I need to do. Okay, just a little bit. This stuff is kicking just like it says, kicking chicken. I don't have any more, but I'm going to put the last bit of that into this bag in my seasonings. Told you I change up stuff sometimes, and then I'm going to put just a dab of Obey in here for this chicken as well. All right. A little bit more of adobo because I added some in there earlier. Garlic powder. 
some garlic powder in there so you can really taste that and a little bit more black pepper. I don't think I put my friend in there. I don't think I put my friend in. Watch my friend go in here too as well. Okay, my friend is this. My deep fryer is already set at 500 degrees. I'm gonna mix the seasoning up inside this bag and I am ready to throw these chicken strips down inside this bag. I'm gonna show you the finished product. I think I may make a, a hot and spicy sauce to go on them as well too. I can take a handful of these, put them in the bag. Cause that's not a whole lot. <clears throat> I think I can do this in two settings here. I'll wash that off, off my hands. Another towel that I was using earlier for meat. You don't want to contaminate your area at all because I have to go back in and clean up every space. Even when I rinse my hand out with the chicken on it, I've got to clean out my entire sink. I'm ready to drop these down into this deep fryer. Okay. Let's get them out of here. They should be coated very nicely. I'm gonna come over here and make sure that I'm coating them very nicely because I'm dropping them down inside of here. I don't have to do a lot with them. A lot of them can seem to be coated. There we go. Put them over there. I don't wanna make a mess here. Sometimes when I'm in a rush, I do make a mess. Just be honest. But then I come back and I clean it up. Never leave your kitchen nasty and dirty either. A good cook, you can tell the difference in a good cook because you'll clean up as you go along. I've been cooking, but you won't see a mess around everywhere. I just can't stand it. And I hate to come down in the morning and to see that my kitchen is nasty, which is very, very, very seldom. Uh, but then I'm still irked by that as well. And I'm talking about really, really seldom. There we go. We're dropping that down in the fire. Yes, we are. I'm going to rinse my hands off. Wash my hands over here. Is what I'm going to do. Wash my hands very well because I had chicken on my hands. And my nose seems to be running because of the pepper. Whenever I have a lot of seasonings, then I can smell it as well. I want to clean that off as well. Hey, while we are waiting for this chicken to cook as usual, I'm going to share with you my word, but this time I'm going to pick my, my trusty Bible up and let's go to it, to the Word of God that I want to share. But I want to take the time out and read a scripture for you. Normally I don't do that. I want to do something a little different today. In 2 Timothy 3 verses 16 and 17, I want to read for you. All scriptures given by inspiration of God. God bless you, Rosie. Thank you. Let me start over. <laughs> All scriptures given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine for reproof, for correction, for instructions in righteousness. That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. I thought it from this standpoint. If you were a mechanic, an auto mechanic, or you wanted to be an auto mechanic, you would go to the auto mechanic school. You would be reading those books to learn what to do, how to do those things. You'd be conscious of it. If you wanted to be a doctor in a specific profession, you would read all those books, you would study anatomy, you would get everything done possibly. If you wanted to be a veterinarian, you would know the, the anatomy almost of every animal and what to expect. You would research it, you would study it. And so why would we not do the same with the Word of God to study, to show ourselves approved? that a workman need not be ashamed of rightly dividing the word of truth. We want to do that. But it says for us in this verse of scripture, I'll give, is given by the inspiration of God. The word of God has come from God to instruct us in righteous living. So we should be reading the word of God to get God's instructions so that we would know. He says, I want to bring you into a perfect position in life. You won't be perfect. The Bible says that we're striving for perfection, but you'll be in a perfect position so that you and I, all of us, could walk in eternity with the Lord. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. We don't know. I don't have the answers to all things, but there are many things that I do have the answers to. And, I, and if I can't find it, I can find the answers in the Word of God. It will correct us. It will reprove us. It will discipline us. He says He comes to chasten us. 
Let's be mindful of that. Read the Word of God so that you can get it for yourself. Don't take what I'm saying and study it so that you would know what God is saying to you. Because I believe... Hey, I am back, P-Fam, and uh, I've already fried up the chicken fingers. They were a little plain to me. And so I've got to enhance them. i got to do something a little different to them. That's just how I am. I'm going to leave some of them plain for my family, but my family loves spicy food. And so I've diced up Julian-style uh, red pepper. I've got a uh, green pepper here. It is called a green finger pepper. These are pretty hot, but these are really hot. The Thai red hot peppers right here that you can see right here. Rosie, please get those. And so I've already cut the others up, and I'm going to open up this pepper just a little bit here. Down through there, if I can. Yes, I am cutting right in through there. Let's do the small knife using the big knife, and I shouldn't do that. I know better to cut down through this pepper. I don't want a lot of these seeds in here as all, at all either, because that's what makes it so so spicy. There's a lot, a lot of the seeds. Pardon me if my nose is running a little bit. I'm gonna have to stop. I don't want a lot of the seeds. I don't want it overwhelmingly hot. But I do want it a little spicy. Right. And the red peppers are going to make it very, very hot. So I'm cutting out some of the seeds here. It's important that I do that. It's just some of them. I got a skillet going over there and I got a wok going over there. I think this is going to be enough peppers right here. Plus with the little ones that I'm putting in there too, that's going to be more than enough. Cut the little stems off the back end of these. Okay, somebody want to eat those? Because we're going to put these in that skillet over there in a minute. Well, these are going to on a wok. I'm going to cook them in the wok in a little sesame oil and combine in the chicken with it. Make a little honey and I'm making my own sauce for this. A little spicy at the same time. Let's do something different. Something different with this. This right here, that's very, very hot. So let it cool off just a little bit. I took the, um, I took uh, regular oil, vegetable oil, and put in here because I am going to infuse to make this extremely hot. And so, not just with hot pepper, I'm going to infuse these red chili peppers. Just like that. Oh, yeah. Yes, I am. I'm going to show you something a little different here. Let's infuse this. If you want to get this pretty hot, I don't have a spoon there. You can get another spoon out here. If you want to get this really hot, this is how you do this. Ah, just like that. And if you use that in there, I don't want it to burn. So I'm going to have to take it out of there quickly and put it in another container right here. I am not cooking so fast. I don't want the red peppers in there, but I want the oil from it. There we go. Just like that. That's all I want, real quick. Infuse that so that I can get it really spicy. Let me rinse this off. I'm going to move over to my wok now. You can smell how hot that is. That is very hot. My wok is hot. So I'm going to take my wok now and I'm going to put just a little bit of sesame oil in here. I want my wok to get hotter. And then what it is. It's pretty hot now. Yes, it is. I can feel the difference in it. Let me close this up. I am going to take now, before I do that, let me do this. <clears throat> Change up the flavor here some. Stay right there, Razia. I'm going to take a little bit of this, which would be some garlic already minced. I don't have a time to put anything else in there. Put that down over there with these peppers right here, just like this. I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to add my chicken in there in a minute too. Don't worry about a thing. Get these peppers to cook down some. Put that on one side. Make that cook down some. Get these peppers in here. Let me get my honey out of here. Thank God my, my boy didn't eat up all my honey because a lot of times they do. I don't think I'm going to need any other seasonings in here at all. This is just a light sauce for this. And then I'm going to put the uh, actual chicken in here and stir it as well. And I've already fried it. I'm not going to have to do much to it. Just get it down in there. Take that now. 
Let's add some garlic to it. That was a tablespoon and a half of garlic to mix that up in there. Go with that chicken. Oh, that smells wonderful. I'm going to take these red hot peppers and put them down in there. Yes, I am. Those red hot peppers to go down inside of there as well. Put them on the side. Let them get infused in there. And take some of my chicken. Put my chicken down inside of here. Not all of it. Because everybody don't want it that way. I'm very aware of that. Got to continue to cook. Got to off my Mr. Quickly. Let that continue to cook. I'm going to stir this. In here. It's going to be a little spicy, y'all. It is going to be a little spicy. Honey. Some honey in there. Oh man, my peppers, I don't want my peppers to go to waste. My kitchen. And some red hot peppers in there. Bless you, bless you. I'm going to take a little bit of this, this infused over here and pour it in here liberally, just a little. And I may not want it super spicy with everything else. Oh my god, look at this. Now that that look good, though. That's how we do it. It's spicy. You smell the peppers in here? Yes, you do. And you smell the honey? Let me put a little bit more honey in here. Go on this chicken. This is something a little different than regular, the regular chicken that we have over there. No, and it's spicy too. Now I'm going to leave some of this infused pepper oil on the side here in case somebody wants it a little bit spicier than what it is. That should be enough. Or should I put more chicken in here? Mm -hmm. Put no more in there? Mm -hmm. okay. This is for some folks. And then we got the other fried chicken on the side. Let me get a flour and put it on. Now remember we're not done. I still got some chicken frying. I'm going to take this out. Because it is infused over here. And it just smells so good. Oh my God. And the peppers that are on it, it smells so good. Let me take it up out of here. What am I going to pick it up with? Put my car. Pick them up. I don't need to recook at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do, I do want it to get the uh, yeah, I do want to just stir in a little bit more. Get that flavor down in there, put a little bit more honey on it. I can, I can smell it, yeah. You smell it, Rocky? Mm-hmm. I think you can put a little bit more of that oil on it. So we'll go ahead and take it out. Take that. <coughs> Ooh, that pepper. There we go. There we go. There we go. Hey, P fam, this is the finished product. Finally, I did a little bit more than what I expected to do, but the outcome is so great. I just did it off of a whim. Didn't think about it anymore. Uh, this is the fried chicken. When I tasted it, it came out. Some pieces taste a little dry because breast do chicken breast do. Uh, if you cook them too long, and I thought I'd cook these too long, but they're really well once they settle. And so I went ahead and, and infused some peppers, some crushed peppers and oil. And then I took the crushed peppers off of, off of that and strained them and put some red chili peppers in it, Thai peppers in here, and some uh, 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 garlic as well as some red peppers. Put it in the wok, sauteed it in that oil, that hot oil, and put some honey on top of it. And when I tell you this is fire, this is fire. Fire in every sense of the word. Don't pour too much of the um, oiled uh, uh, red crushed pepper oil on this until it's to your liking. Do a little bit at a time because the infused oil, you, we can still smell it in the kitchen. 
a great recipe though, besides actually putting on uh, hot sauce and butter as we normally do. Try something a little different in the kitchen. Hey, try this recipe. I'm going to give you all of the ingredients to it, and I hope that you like it. Please provide me with your comments as always. Uh, once you come to the, uh, from the pastor's kitchen, like what you see. Share it with someone else. And most of all, tell your friends about it to subscribe. Oh,